This is K1DBC. All stations please stand by. The Denver Radio Club Learning Net starts in five minutes. W0TX repeater. This is K1DBC. The DRC Learning Net will start in one minute. All stations please stand by while the repeaters are placed into net mode.
Good evening. Hello and welcome back to the Denver Radio Club. This is Kilo 1 Delta Bravo Charlie K1 DBC. <clears throat> My name is Darone. That's Delta Oscar, Romeo Oscar November, and I am Net Control for this evening's Denver Radio Club Learning Net. This is a casual conversation where ham radio, where we can discuss ham radio and STEM topics in general. And thankfully, we have plenty of combined expertise and experience. We meet every Wednesday except the third Wednesday of the month at 7.30 p.m. Mountain Time on 145.490 and 448.625. Both have a negative 600 kilohertz offset, meaning you transmit on 144.890 or 448.025. This net can be broken at any time for emergency or priority traffic by using the word break. Is there any emergency or priority traffic at this time? You can contact us via email at drclearningnet at gmail.com or hamlearningnet at groups.io. We also have a public mailing list, groups.io forward slash g forward slash hamlearningnet. We also stream and archive our nets and meetings on YouTube forward slash w-e-r-e-g-r-8. If you search on YouTube for w-0-t-x, or my call sign K1DBC, you should be able to find that. This is K1DBC Net Control. We will begin by inviting Elmers only to check in without, with or without traffic. All Elmers, please check in now. Alpha Alpha Zero, Juliet Kilo, AA0JK, Fred Narvada. Good evening. All right, we'll begin by inviting, or uh, Net Control wishes to welcome and acknowledge the following check-ins. Uh, Elmers, excuse me, AA0JK, Fred, thanks for checking in as always. All other check-ins to the net will be taken in alphabetical groups based on the first letter of the suffix of the operator's call sign. And that will be the first letter after the number in that call sign. If you can, please try to use IT phonetics as you check in and indicate if you have traffic or questions as you do. If your suffix begins with the letters A through M, alpha through Mike, please check in now. Good evening, Jerome, Tom, Kilo 6, Hotel, Juliet Victor, K6HJV, Arvada, no traffic. November zero, Echo Yankee Zulu, Jim in Jefferson County, no traffic. W zero T X repeater. Kilo zero Lima, Papa Romeo, Lanier and Inglewood. W zero Fox Fox Charlie. Jerry, a lone tree, no traffic. Kilo, Fox Trot Zero, Fox Trot Sierra Yankee. Whiskey Delta Six, Delta Oscar, Oscar Kilo, Rich in Arvada, no traffic. Good evening.
All right, this is Daron, uh, K1DBC Net Control. We'll go ahead and hold up there for just a moment. This is Daron, uh, K1DBC Net Control. I'd like to welcome and acknowledge uh, the following check-ins. K6HJV Tom, N0EYZ Jim, K0LPR Lanier, W zero FFC Jerry, KF zero FSY uh, Dan Daniel possibly with traffic. It was a little bit uh, light there on the the transmission, but I, I did get you in there. Uh, and then uh, WD six DOK Rich. Uh, thank you all for checking in. All right, this is Daron, K1DBC Net Control for the Denver Radio Club Ham Learning Net. Uh, if there's any corrections or any other check-ins, uh, Alpha through Mike, uh, please check in now with your call sign name and let us know if you have any traffic or questions. Okay, we'll go ahead and open up the whole alphabet, alpha through Zulu. If your call suffix begins with the uh, letters alpha through Zulu, uh, and you'd like to check into the Denver Radio Club Ham Learning Net, uh, please call now. Uh, Kilo Delta Zero, Romeo, Quebec, November, KD Zero, RQN, David from Westminster, no traffic. Kilo Zero, Yankee Echo Sierra, Cannon Broomfield, no traffic. All right, this is uh, K1DBC Net Control. Uh, let's go ahead and hold up there for just a moment. Uh, this is K1DBC Net Control. Um, I got a little bit lost here. Sorry about that. Um, I think I had uh, possibly WDC or uh, WD6 DOK Rich. I don't know if you, I think I got you checked in previously, but then I had uh, KD0 RQN David. Online I had uh, v, uh, Victor uh, Victor Edward 5 Juliet Hotel November. Uh, John, thanks for checking in online. And then I also had uh, Kilo uh, 0 Yankee Echo Sierra Ken. Thanks for checking in as well. All right, another call if you'd like to check in online or over the air. We're taking all call suffixes, all call signs, A through Z, Alpha through Zulu. Let us know your name, call sign, uh, and if possibly uh, in IT phonetics, as well as let us know if you have any uh, comments or questions. Please call now. Kilo Foxtrot Zero, Bravo Hotel Romeo, Rye in Westminster. All right, sounds good. Uh, FSY, got you checked in there for uh, traffic with uh, 21 uh, uh, field day info. Yeah, we'll follow up with that, absolutely. Uh, we also had um, 
KF0BHR Bry check in and N0TRP Jim online check in. Thanks for all checking in here. Uh, let me drop here for just a moment. All right, uh, one more time. If anybody would like to check in at the moment, uh, you're feel, uh, feel free to check in at any given time, really, at any uh, drop in the conversation. Um, and I'll, I'll officially call on check-ins uh, a few more times here. But one more time, any official check-ins at the moment, uh, please call now. Okay, with that then, uh, we'll go ahead and over uh, throw it over then to uh, FSY Daniel. Oh, or actually, I just had a late check-in here, another check-in, uh, KE0GPR. John, thanks for checking as well. Um, I can fill you in here, uh, Dan, um, if you're uh, just looking for uh, general information on the, uh, the field day, I can, I can, I can uh, fill that in. Let me know uh, if that's what you're looking for. All right, uh, this is uh, K1DBC Net Control, uh, KF0FSY. Uh, Dan has a question about uh, field day and uh, checking in what we're doing here. Uh, if you head over, um, it's kind of on my uh, webpage at the moment, uh, k1dbc.com, uh, more info on there if uh, this decides to come up. I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, let me uh, drop uh, and uh, bring this information up here. Sorry about that. So I'm not sure what's uh, going on with my website. I'll have to check that here in a moment. But uh, field day does take place uh, June 26th, 27th. If you uh, go to arrl.org forward slash field dash day, you can find some general info on that. Um, the event is to, the objective is to contact as many stations as possible on 160 through uh, 10 meters, um, as well as any bands uh, 500 megahertz and above, uh, and to learn and operate in abnormal situations and conditions. It's open up to all amateurs in areas covered by ARL organizations and countries within IARU uh, Region 2. Um, uh, DX stations residing in other regions may be uh, contacted for credit, but not uh, eligible for summaries. So again, uh, always the fourth weekend of uh, June. Uh, it begins uh, 1800 UTC through uh, 2059 UTC on Sunday, uh, Saturday through Sunday there. Uh, mountain time, that is uh, 12 p.m. Mountain um, um, through uh, 3 p.m. Mountain on Sunday. Uh, this year's field day, let me drop here just for a moment. It is going to be taking place at the Prospect Arena, which is part of the Prospect uh, Recreation and Parks uh, District. Uh, this is located at 13805 West 52nd Avenue, and uh, this is a um, normally a, um, let me drop here once more. Uh, this is a, an arena uh, for equestrian uh, horse events. Uh, so uh, I'm bringing up the, the large map here. Um, we it is in a residential area, but uh, there's uh, plenty of place here for RVs and trucks. Uh, we'll bring in the, the Salvation Army vehicles, um, canteen, as well as the um, the crank up antenna. Um, so there should be plenty of parking and availability for everybody. Um, I'm still kind of working out the schedule and uh, things like that, uh, but we are still planning on going ahead for a field day 2021. Um, more info, again, for our club, though, on w0tx.org, there's a link right in the middle for the, uh, the field day activities. Uh, my website uh, appears to be down at the moment, so I'll need to check what's going on there. Uh, 
me a question? Yeah, go ahead with the question. Yeah, this is Whiskey Delta 6 Delta Oscar Kilo. Uh, does this facility have, uh, I mean, can you bring a camper and spend the night, or is it just strictly a day activity? Yeah, great questions there. So, yeah, we are planning on letting people come in Friday afternoon, evening, just like we did uh, 2019 and previous field days uh, with campers, uh, car tent, uh, car camping, tent camping, things like that, uh, Friday night and Saturday night. And we should be able to have um, uh, uh, toilet facilities as well as uh, be able to feed um, and provide food for three to four meals throughout that period. So... Uh, yeah, come on uh, out and uh, we'll be happy to help uh, have you there. Okay, thank you very much, Drone. Uh, this is WD6D, okay, back to now. KFU, FSY, thank you very much. And um, that's, that's good information, and I'm look, kind of looking forward to it. So, uh, I hope to see everybody there. KS0, FSY, uh, back to net. Excellent. Uh, yeah, glad uh, glad we're able to uh, help you out here and uh, provide a little bit more information. Yeah, we uh, provided a uh, survey um, opportunity a little bit earlier in the month, and it looks like, yeah, we'll have maybe... Um, 20 to 40 people or so potentially show up uh, throughout uh, both days and uh, plenty of campers and uh, a lot of uh, a lot of volunteers so um, I just need to put out a little bit more uh, official information here uh, via my website and the uh, the club's website and uh, we'll we'll be happy to have you there so yeah glad to hear anyone else have any other comments questions in regards to the 21 uh, 2021 upcoming field day please hold on there All right, this is K1DBC Net Control for the Denver Radio Club Ham Learning Net. I'm sure I can bring up a few more things here, but uh, at the moment, does anybody have any other comments, questions, anything else you'd like to bring up for the net at the moment? Please call now. Okay, uh, this is K1DBC Net Control. I can cover uh, some uh, recent club activities and some other uh, things here. And uh, feel free to uh, check in at any time uh, there's a break in the conversation or uh, uh, if you have any comments, questions, let me know. In fact, I'll, I'll just ask once more if anybody has any comments, questions, check-ins, anything else at the moment, uh, let me know. Uh, please call now. Yeah, AA0JK. Fred, go ahead. Yeah, just to uh, break the uh, silence <laughs> while everybody decides on uh, what they want to talk about this evening, we had a great, I mean, an outstanding turnout tonight for the uh, siren test. And, uh, of course, the pizza was great afterwards. And... Uh, being able to have some face-to-face -face, uh, uh, QSOs and get a, be able to uh, uh, rub shoulders, so to speak. <laughs> but um, it was a fantastic get-together. Really enjoyed seeing everyone and being able to uh, converse and kind of get up to date on uh, what everybody has been up to. But we accomplished a lot and uh, helped out the uh, general community there, and uh, it's all a part of being uh, uh, a radio ham, an amateur radio operator. So uh, kudos to everyone who participated and helped in making it a great success, but enjoyed getting to uh, see everyone. AA0JK, back to net control. Question, 
Delta Oscar Kilo. All right, sounds good, Fred. There, yeah, it was a great activity. I was just trying to bring up some uh, information on that there. Uh, uh, yeah, with the Delta Oscar Kilo with a question. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, drone. This is maybe a little premature, but with a lot of the uh, uh, requirements uh, being relaxed, uh, have you heard or has anybody heard on the net uh, if they're going to plan on having a Christmas party this year? Uh, Whiskey Delta 6 Delta Oscar Kilo. Early to stir the eggnog. Well, I just thought I'd, I'd give it a good stir. <laughs> okay, sounds great. All right, sounds good. Yeah, a little bit, uh, a little bit early there, uh, maybe a few months here, but uh, yeah, hopefully they will have a, uh, we'll have an in-person um, uh, holiday party here uh, for Field Day. We certainly uh, plan on having it in person, and um, I mean, COVID restrictions are loosening. Um, whatever um, um, things we need to put in place, we'll be able to um, with distancing and, and masks if needed. But uh, as the, as the um, as the rates are going up for um, for people getting um, <laughs> getting their shots and whatnot, uh, it looks it's looking good. So, yeah, we'll have to see. W zero T X repeater. All right, this is K one DBC Net Control. I'll go ahead and just um, open it up for any other check ins at the moment. Uh, if you've just tuned in, or if you uh, uh, want to check in. My name is Darone, uh, K1DBC, um, net control for the Denver Radio Club Ham Learning Net. Um, it's a net where radio amateurs uh, um, seeking help um, are, will, are able to get uh, help from Elmers, giving their time to help us. Everyone is welcome to join in. If there's anyone who wishes to check in at this time, please do so with your call sign using ITU Phonetics, your name, and say if you have any traffic or questions for the net. Good evening there, Charles. Glad to hear you in there. AA0JK. Yeah, I'm always lurking around somewhere. Anyway, how you doing, Fred? AOK73 there, my friend. All right, sounds good there, uh, W0CIV, Charles. I got you checked in. Yeah, I'm glad we could answer your questions about field day. All right. Um, yeah, as I was showing on screen, there was uh, some, some footage that I took from uh, some of the, uh, the repeat... Um, Siren test today, and uh, I'll try to get some of the, the some of the audio of that, as well as the audio of the uh, the Wheat Ridge and some video of the Wheat Ridge uh, siren test as well, and, and put that online. You can see what uh, what that tests are like. Um, I guess just real quick here. I mean, it's basically um, as I closed it, I wanted to explain it. Um, Essentially, these are the tornado sirens, uh, the legacy tornado sirens that have been around for 15, 20, 30 years or something like that, um, at least. Um, they are operated, um, so, well, they 
are physically either a um, a rotatable horn antenna or um, a speaker um, or a, a fixed uh, speaker, and it uh, puts out uh, two broadcasts, um, three three times of each, uh, three um, <clears throat> uh, noise uh, warbles. I forget the uh, the t- uh, uh, specific thing, as well as uh, some voice. Um, it's especially for the test, just this is a test, this is a test, things like that. Uh, so you're checking to make sure that the thing rotates, that it has good uh, uh, grounding. Um, it de- can either be powered by um, solar power or uh, fixed power, so you want to make sure all that looks okay um, and that everything is okay. So um, pretty simple test. I'm surprised they don't uh, have more citizens uh, trying to get into this outside of the uh, the radio clubs, but... Uh, um, part of the Denver Radio Club. We work with the uh, city of Leakwood, uh, Lakewood and uh, Reed Ridge, so we have the opportunity to go and check uh, a dozen plus sites and uh, report back on them. Uh, so we had a lot of fun. So uh, upcoming video on that, hopefully, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, this is K1DBC Net Control. Does anyone else have any other comments, questions, check-ins, or anything else at the moment they'd like to bring up? Please call now. Uh, KD0RQ1 with a question. Yeah, KD0RQN. Uh, David, go ahead. Uh, this is kind of a simple question, but where is the repeater located for this net? The repeater for this net, uh, I believe, is located on uh, Centennial Cone. Um, it's a funny name, but it's, a, I think, a 14er or so um, just outside of the city here. Uh, yeah, it's just up, uh, just north of Genesee uh, Park, just outside of, uh, just up north of um, Chief Hosa, where we had field day. So yeah, I-70 there, just outside of the city. Uh, Centennial Cone is where the repeater is located. Uh, thank you for that information. All right, yeah, not a problem. Uh, yeah, and we have uh, really good uh, repeater coverage uh, due to the uh, the height of those um, those mountains there. So yeah, very very cool. Uh, KD zero, a few went clear. All right, thanks there, uh, RQN. Uh, yeah, if you ever uh, want to know some of that information, we do have some of that on uh, our website w zero tx dot org. Um, if you go to the, um, we have a repeater coverage maps and then uh, a repeater listings, and it shows you the uh, the city and whatnot. Um, so very cool. Yeah. Anyone else? Any other comments, questions, check-ins, or anything else you'd like to bring up? Uh, please call now. All right, uh, this is K1DBC. I thought it would be kind of interesting if we could play a little game. Um, it's going to be, what's that sound? Uh, so I'm going to play a sound um, from uh, a popular amateur radio um, mode. And... Um, if you want to put any uh, comments, questions into the, the YouTube video, uh, live chat, or after the fact into the, uh, the comments or on our groups.io, um, next week I will reveal uh, what that sound was. So uh, let me drop for a moment and get it queued up here. Okay, uh, this is K1DBC Net Control. Um, this mode we've spoken about previously. Um, we haven't heard the actual um, audio of the mode, but we've heard 
and spoken about um, in the background of people's, uh, um, um, I think when we've done uh, Wednesday or um, monthly nets, in the background we've heard uh, somebody's uh, device that is capable of recreating the sound. So uh, let me uh, run this sound. Uh, you can view it or hear it much better on the YouTube, but I will be playing it also over the air. This is uh, K1DBC. I was having some technical issues there. I'm going to try this once more, and hopefully everyone should hear this. W0TX, repeater. And I'll run it once more. All right, this is K1DBC. Uh, the audio is definitely a lot better online, um, but uh, if you were able to discern what that is, there is um, a couple of uh, specifications to it, um, and if you can uh, specify exactly what you were hearing there, I can try to maybe get maybe get a uh, a prize going on here. But um, I'll try to run that once more throughout the net. Um, and then next week we can come back if you think you might know what that is. Question. Yeah, go ahead with the question. Yeah, telemetry on what frequency? By any chance, uh, uh, do you know what frequency that uh, was coming in on? I guess I can give a little hint there. Yeah, the frequencies, it looks like it's covered on uh, several bands. Um, let's see, 3 megahertz up to um, 28 megahertz. So it's probably, eight, it's an HF uh, signal. Okay, so uh, simultaneously on uh, uh, throughout the spectrum? No, sorry. Uh, just one at a time. Just one of those. But it looks like it's allowed on those frequencies. Any, anywhere it's in HF, uh, it looks like this is allowed. Oh, okay. We're talking about uh, legal transmission, not uh, a question of uh, uh, something that shouldn't be. <laughs> okay. Very good, drone. Back to you, AA Zero JK. All right, sounds good. Yeah, this is a uh, a legal thing. As long as you have a, a license to do so, this is um, well known. Um, this might be a gimme, but uh, we'll have to see. So uh, yeah, let us know. I'm uh, checking for uh, for answers here in the chat. Nothing, nothing just yet. Uh, uh, it's not it's not Vara, and it's not uh, a scout, uh, scout droid. <laughs> so I appreciate those there. So uh, if somebody mentions it uh, this evening, I'll, I'll let you know. But otherwise, we'll uh, we'll go from there. So anyone else on that at the moment, or anything else you'd like to uh, bring up? Please call now. Uh, I have a question on CW. 
Uh, that was not CW, no. And yeah, absolutely, over the air, please feel free to, uh, to chime in. If, if, you, if you think you might know what that is, I'll, I'll run it a couple more times throughout the, uh, the net here and, uh, and let me know. So um, uh, yeah, uh, one more guess here in the chat here. FT8 is not FT8. Um, so I, I'll, I'll run it once more here uh, for the uh, people on YouTube as well as over the air. Let me uh, get that queued up here again. Ready. Uh, what was the question on uh, CW when you get a minute? What was the CW question? My question on CW is, um, I know that it's not a requirement to get your license anymore, as I didn't have to pass that test, but years ago I studied it a little bit. Um, and I was just wondering, what is a good, or who provides a good training uh, program? Oh, very good question, very good question. There are so many out there, it's kind of hard to choose uh, from them. Uh, the uh, ARRL has uh, practice uh, nightly, and uh, you can get those uh, programs on the Internet. Go to the ARRL and just uh, put in the search there, CW, and it'll bring up their uh, practice uh, uh, broadcasts. You can get them on the internet, so anytime you have some free time, you can uh, tune into those. They got them uh, set up for uh, uh, different speeds, and uh, they've also got a great uh, uh, book there on uh, CW, Learning CW, in their book collection. Highly recommend that. And uh, just there. There are a lot to uh, pick and choose from uh, on the Internet. Uh, no, nothing immediately comes to mind, but I've always enjoyed the uh, ARRLs uh, uh, on the air and also their, their, uh, uh, inter on their website. A0JK, if you have any more questions, please uh, let me know. Zero FFC with the comments. All right, thanks there, Fred, for the follow-up. Sorry, I, I thought that was a response into uh, what that uh, noise was. That, okay, sorry about that. Yeah, uh, great um, methods online. We've sp spoken about the Coke method, uh, C O A uh, K O C H um, method. Um, there's another um, website here, G four uh, F O N Gilo. Uh, <laughs> Golf for Foxtrot Zero, um, excuse me, OscarNovember.net. Um, yeah, and as well as ARL um, has some interesting things. Uh, CW Ops is also CWOps.org, we, we've spoken about. Uh, there was another uh, follow up on that. Go ahead. But is Fred correct that it's uh, ready? Fred said that pretty quickly, um, but Fred is correct on that. Um, that was RTTY. Uh, let me uh, bring up the uh, thing here. And ready at 300 baht. Yeah, very uh, good, Fred. WD60, okay. Thank you kindly. It was my guess as well, but, you know, I can say that now. Okay, very good. A0JK, that's another mode that I've uh, enjoyed in the past. All right, excellent there. Yeah, uh, it was uh, really RTTY, uh, also known as uh, Badat uh, 5-bit uh, alphabet. Um, it's a... Uh, origin um it's quite old <laughs> i have to bring up the information but uh, this one specifically was 170 uh 
Hertz uh, shift at uh, 44, uh, 45.5, uh, 44, excuse me, 45.45 uh, baud rate. Uh, so I'll play that once more here. All right, very, very cool. Uh, so I am getting these from a website called uh, SIG ID Wiki, uh, as in signal, signal identification guide, or SIGIDWiki.com. Uh, so I'll be bringing these up, um, try to bring them up on more nets, and uh, try to stump you guys uh, a little bit better next time. But uh, that is Radio Teletype, and it has been around for quite a while. So uh, good on you there, Fred, for figuring that one out. Okay, thank you for bringing that up, but Daron uh, makes a, a, a great uh, uh, twist here to the uh, to the uh, learning net. Thank you. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> We've got a uh, old Model 28 sitting here in the shack that uh, uh, runs that out on hard copy on paper, and also makes the uh, tapes. Uh, and also, you can play back uh, on play back the tapes. But used to have a lot of fun with that when I was out in the Mariana Islands. But we still have our Model 28. A0JK, back to net control. All right, sounds good. Yeah, my pleasure. Uh, just trying to bring in a little bit uh, of fun here. Um, yeah, Radio Teletype, it's uh, been around um, since the mid-1800s, um, and the U.S. Navy uh, Department um, further um, put into operations uh, in 1922. Uh, Radio Corporation of America, America RCA, uh, telegraphy system from uh, Chatham, Massachusetts, and... Uh, uh, commercial RTTY systems were in active service between San Francisco and Honolulu as early as uh, 1932 and San Francisco and uh, New York City since 1934. So, uh, yeah, really, really cool stuff here. And uh, as you mentioned, the uh, Model 28, um, uh, it was, uh, I, I forget at the moment uh, who had um, had that in the background going on. Um, but, uh, yeah, very, very cool stuff. Um, yeah, thank you. Yeah, he's your JK. Fred, go ahead. Right there on your screen that you had coming up there, that one, the second one there, the console, that that's what mine looks like there. Yes, back back to your left and up. Okay, yeah, uh, there's second one up there, top top left. That's the console's uh, like uh, uh, mine. Uh, this is K1DBC. Yeah, just looking at that, that's uh, quite interesting uh, behemoth there, and uh, a lot, a lot of stuff going on there uh, with that uh, that machine. Very, very cool. Okay, uh, this is K1DBC Net Control for the Denver Radio Club Ham Learning Net. Yeah, uh, hopefully we can try to uh, bring some uh, um, some prizes into this at some point. But uh, glad to hear um, glad to hear people getting in there. So uh, during that, also I had a uh, another check in uh, Troy KF0 AFQ. So I got to check in as well. So um, I guess at the moment, does anyone else have any other comments, questions, check ins, anything else you'd like to bring up for the net? Please call now. Cool video, Daron. Great. Thanks for bringing that up. That's uh, great. I tell you, the mechanical noise off of that machine is addictive. <laughs> A lot of fun. A0JK. Thanks, Daron.
All right, uh, A0JK Fred. Yeah, definitely uh, pretty interesting to listen to. So, yeah, very, very cool. All right, anyone else? Uh, yeah, plenty of comments here. Pl uh, appreciate everyone uh, uh, giving some comments here on the, uh, the YouTube. Uh, Jay uh, Sheepdog, John Haltwell, uh, and uh, Troy. So everybody uh, checking in, and uh, thanks for uh, and commenting there. So uh, anyone else at the moment? Um, any other comments, questions, check-ins? Anything else you'd like to bring up at the moment? Please call now. Okay, yeah, so next next Wednesday I'll try to bring up another one. Hopefully I'll be able to stump you all. Um, let's see, though. I can, I can bring up some, um, some other things here. Um, if anybody has anything at the moment before I uh, bring these up, uh, please call now. Okay, let's see if I can bring up some information over the last uh, few weeks here. Um, I was looking into a radio of uh, uh, purchasing a um, the Redivis RT99. Um, just just anecdotal. It's uh, uh, oh, it was a little bit cheaper a few days ago, but it uh, just went up in price. But it's a uh, hundred and sixty nine, hundred and seventy dollars or so um, dual band uh, radio, uh, headless. Uh, meaning that there's no um, there's no faceplate really. It's all done through an app through your phone, uh, but you do have a, a push to talk uh, microphone. Um, but uh, I think it's a 40 or 50 watt. Um, I don't have the specs in the moment at the moment, uh, but yeah, 40 50 watt uh, uses uh, Bluetooth. Uh, so just uh, just thinking about uh, looking at that as well. Um, let's see what else here. Um, sorry, I'm uh, just having an issue. Oh, let me see. Uh, another good website we always uh, speak about is uh, hackaday.com. Um, pretty interesting article here about, uh, programming out uh, EMI, electromagnetic um, emission or um, interference. This article is written by Tom Nardi on uh, May 21st, uh, it, uh, entitled uh, Simple Probe Sniffs Out EMI. Um, this is going into an issue by uh, Daniel uh, Van Denberg, uh, unable to account for strange glitches when he was uh, he was seeing it on his um, CNC router. Uh, he was wondering if his electronics might be suffering from sort of some form of electromagnetic interference, EMI. So he did what any good hacker would do and rummaged through the parts bin to build an impromptu EMI detector. He's quick to point out that he's not an electrical engineer and makes no guarantees about the accuracy uh, tossed together, but does seem to work well enough in his testing that he's able to identify particular noisy electronic components. So it's probably worth noting, putting one, it's probably worth putting one together just to hear what your hardware is pumping into the environment. The hardware here is very simple. They attached a coil of solid copper wire to one of the analog pins on our and on our Duino Nano with a resistor and hung a speaker off of one of the digital pins. From there, it just took a few lines of code to read the, read the voltage in the coil and convert that into a tone for the speaker. The basic idea is that a strong alternating magnetic field will set up voltage fluctuations in the coil large enough for the Arduino <coughs> ADC to read. If you're looking into a bit more insight on what is uh, what kind of interference your electronic creations might be putting out, uh, another fantastic presentation during the 2020 Remoticon was put out, uh, Basics of RF Emissions uh, Debugging Workshop. W0TX Repeater. All 
All right, yeah, more on that over on hackaday.com, H-A-C-K-A-D-A-Y.com. Great uh, blog about uh, many engineering disciplines and uh, uh, very much including uh, RF. See if I can bring up uh, anything else that I have here, but this is a uh, K1DBC net control. Does anybody else have any other comments, questions, check-ins, anything else you'd like to bring up for the net? Please call now. A couple more articles here. Um, another great blog to read, rtl-sdr.com, uh, Romeo Tango Lima. Dash Sierra Delta Romeo dot com. Article entitled An Expansion Board with SMA Output for the Raspberry Pi and Raspberry Pi TX Project. If you didn't know, the Raspberry Pi can actually transmit uh, radio. Um, I don't know. I think it's probably in the milliwatts, uh, but it's enough to uh, do a lot of uh, projects and things like that. So, um, Yatsevich uh, had written in, uh, written in and uh, sharing his open source project called RPI TX Coax PCB, which is an expansion board for the Raspberry Pi that converts the GPIO pins used by the Raspberry Pi uh, project RPI TX into a coaxial SMA connector for easily connecting to an, an output to an antenna. Uh, there's two revisions. Uh, one includes a filter and does not. Uh, it's a program, if you're not familiar with it, RPI-TX is a program for the Raspberry Pi that allows you to transmit almost any type of signal, uh, excuse me, signal on frequencies between 5 kilohertz up to 1500 megahertz with nothing more than a single wire connected to a GPIO pin. However, it's highly recommended that appropriate filtering be used if you're transmitting with an amplifier or longer range antennas. This is K1DBC Net Control for the Denver Radio Club Ham Learning. And I feel other uh, brought up here. Let me see uh, something else here in the chat. This is K1DBC. Uh, uh, N0SRJ uh, uh, had uh, spoken about um, Arden, uh, the Amateur Radio Emergency Data Network. Uh, very, very cool project. Um, if you're not aware, um, they use um, basically off-the-shelf um, ham radio equipment with some networking equipment to create some mesh projects. Uh, the project focuses on emergency communication. It seeks to provide hams a means to implement the technology in practical ways to support local and regional emergency communication needs. Um, their objectives um, are to enable hams to set up a working mesh node with minimal expertise and effort. Uh, configure the mesh network automatically, um, use low-cost, reliable commercial equipment, uh, define standards, supporting um, the uh, process. Uh, so a lot, a lot of cool features here. I know um, we have an interesting project here in um, uh, Colorado called uh, Carbon, C-A-R-B-B-N. Um, they don't seem to be super oh, uh, active on their nets, but they seem to be um, still active. Let me uh, drop here for a moment. Sorry, yeah, while well, I'm bringing that up here. Yeah, so Arden, uh, you can find more info on them at uh, Alpha Romeo Echo Delta November Mesh.org. A R E D N Mesh.org. You can find more info on the technology they use, uh, their missions and purposes, and uh, how to get involved. Yeah, and as mentioned, uh, the Carbon uh, Colorado Amateur Radio Broadband Network, um, C-A-R-B-B-N.org, they've been uh, transitioning for a while now, but uh, they um, they go into what devices you need with like a Ubiquiti uh, Wi-Fi router and um, things like that. So 
Uh, yeah, more info on them at uh, carbbn.org. Yeah, thanks, uh, N0SRJ, for bringing it up. He uh, mentioned uh, he's using a GoBox to nearly complete uh, with uh, 5.8 and uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, links. Yeah, so this is over the um, the unlicensed or unmanaged uh, uh, 2.4 and 5.8 uh, Wi-Fi networks, and he mentions with a uh, Raspberry Pi PBX uh, mesh chat and file storage. So. Uh, looking to get a uh, backbone node set up with uh, Rocky Mountain uh, Airport. So yeah, very, very cool, uh, Jay. All right, this is K1DBC Net Control for the Denver Radio Club Ham Learning Net. Does anyone else have any other comments, questions, check-ins, anything else you'd like to bring up for the net? Otherwise, I can bring a few other things back up, um, and I can uh, call once more for traffic, and when, uh, we can go from there. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, this is uh, K1DBC Net Control. Uh, one more uh, story here over on um, from uh, MIT.edu, uh, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, uh, student-led efforts to preserve iconic campus landmark for future generations of education and research, uh, saving the radom, radom. Uh, perched atop the MIT uh, Cecil and Ida Green building is MIT's uh, tallest academic building. Um, and on top of it is the iconic um, uh, radar dome. Uh, fiberglass shell that encases a large parabolic dish, seal, shielding it from the elements while allowing radio waves to penetrate. Uh, first installed in 1966, used to initially pioneer weather radio, uh, radar research. Uh, as years passed and technology evolved, it fell out of uh, use for that. And um, MIT um, Radio Society uh, found uh, new uses for it and succeeded. So uh, really, really cool project on that. Um, the amateur... Um, Radio Digital Communications uh, Group (ARDC) also has uh, made a donation of 1.62 million to save that. So, uh, really, really cool efforts here, and uh, really cool to see uh, the saving uh, saving these uh, old technologies here. Okay, this is K1DBC Net Control. That's almost, that's pretty much all that I have at the moment uh, for this evening. Um, I'll go ahead and take any other check-ins, comments, questions, anything else you'd like to bring up for the net, please call now. Okay, um, I'll just try to cover some club business here and then uh, we'll go from there. Meeting topic yet to be announced, but um, June 16th, uh, 7 p.m. is going to be our next uh, club meeting. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, not topic, topic not yet announced, but uh, more info on uh, w0tx.org uh, for more info on that. All takes, uh, takes place all online. The well, links aren't here, but uh, uh, at 6 p.m., though, there's also a, an Elmer session, which is very similar to this, just a general Q&A. Uh, show and tell us so if uh, you have any interest in, in that, uh, feel free to show up as well. W0TX repeater. All right, this is K1DBC Net Control. Um, let's see if I have anything else before I start to wrap things up here. FSY, this is Dan, and just saying thank you to everyone, and uh, this was my first contact, so I really enjoyed this. FSY, uh, FSY Dan, this is uh, K1DBC. Absolutely, my pleasure, our pleasure, and uh, glad you were able to get in there, and uh, glad it was, uh, it was a good conversation, so yeah, glad we could help out. Guess one other thing here, uh, Troy uh, KF0AFQ had put in 
is asking about uh, wideband and uh, receive antenna uh, to turn his uh, uh, S, uh, 705 into an SWL rig. Um, so wideband receive antenna, uh, should they should he purchase it or buy that um, for a price under fifty dollars? What what does the uh, uh, what do people on the air here think? All right, not hearing anything just at the moment. Uh, I know I had purchased my uh, my uh, wideband uh, discone antenna. Uh, yeah, and it really it was about uh, yeah fifty dollars or so. It wasn't uh, too much. Uh, yeah, it kind of just depends on uh, on what uh, what you want to do. Um, yeah. So uh, and else though, uh, building a uh, wideband uh, receive antenna. Anybody else on that? Go ahead. Okay, uh, this is K1DBC. Yeah, we'll uh, keep that in mind for uh, for next week's chat and uh, bring that up uh, again. Uh, um, and again, we'll play the uh, the game again of what's that that's noise, and uh, we'll try to uh, stump you guys and see if I can uh, stump you more than just uh, just a few minutes. And uh, we'll play another another sound, and uh, hopefully we'll try to try to give something out. But uh, with that though, I might try to uh, wrap things up here. And actually, I'll take any other um, last-minute uh, questions, comments, check-ins, anything up uh, for the net. Please call in. Okay. Definitely appreciate everyone checking in online, over the air. A lot of activity recently. Appreciate all of that. Um, definitely come hang out online if you want. YouTube.com uh, forward slash W-E-R-E-G-R-8. -E -E if you search for W0TX or K1DBC on YouTube, you can find it. Uh, definitely don't need to like or subscribe or anything. Subscribing, though, does make it easier to uh, find it after the fact. Uh, put videos up from uh, Learning Nets, uh, Sunday Night Nets, uh, past um, meetings, things like that, and uh, yeah, let us know if uh, if you want to see anything else on there. So, um, I will drop and uh, pass any other things here. Again, we also publish all of our things on uh, groups.io forward slash g forward slash ham learning net. Uh, we we. Uh, post uh, all check-ins and links and topics to uh, past comments and questions, things like that. Uh, so uh, don't hesitate to uh, check us on there. Again, all these links are a little bit buried, and I apologize about that. But if, uh, if you go to the w0tx.org uh, webpage and under the Denver net listing under Wednesday, uh, you have a link for the groups.io and uh, YouTube there. All right. With that, I appreciate everyone checking in. Uh, please don't ever hesitate to uh, to uh, let us know if you want to operate as a net control or a guest Elmer. Uh, feel free to email us at uh, drclearningnet at gmail.com or hamlearningnet at groups.io. Uh, this evening we had a total of 17 check-ins. I uh, appreciate everyone checking in. Um, like to uh, especially appreciate uh, our uh, Elmers and the Denver Radio Club for allowing us to use their repeaters for this net. Uh, again, we invite you to join us on the third Wednesday of the month at 6 p.m. for an Elmer session prior to the regularly scheduled Denver Radio Club at 7 p.m. Um, everyone is welcome to all of that. Uh, you never have to be really a, a member or anything to, to participate in that. Uh, join us next week, though, 19.30 p.m., 7.30 p.m. Mountain Time for our next Learning Net. All stations, please stand by while the repeaters are placed into normal mode. On. 
All right. This is K1DBC Net Control. Glad to hear uh, and uh, see everyone here this evening and uh, into our event today. And uh, hope to hear you all uh, on the air soon. So this is K1DBC. Um, you all take care. 7-3 and I am clear. K1DBC, AA0JK. Yeah, AA0JK. Fred, go ahead. Yeah, your little uh, K1DBC icon that you got up there. I often wondered where he came from. Now I know. He came in on that green saucer that's behind you. <laughs> hey, man, it's working great. It's working great. 73. Kilo, Foxtrot, Zero, Trot, Sierra, Yankee, 73, and unclear. All right, thanks all, uh, uh, Foxtrot, Sierra, Yankee, and uh, AA0, JK. Yeah, appreciate it all. Everyone take care, 7-3. Yeah, this is just uh, the, the green screen. <laughs> Looks a little silly. Um, I have to try to bring up an actual, see if I can do this here real quick. Uh, it looks a little funny, but, uh, yeah, no, that's, uh, that's what it is. So, <laughs> all right, uh, you guys, uh, thanks for checking on here. Hopefully I can do a little bit more on here, um, in the future, but, uh, yeah, thanks for subscribing and thanks for checking things out and, uh, yeah, y'all take care.